are on our way. Uh, so the thing we have going on today is the Renaissance Fair. We've never been, none of us have ever been to it. We woke up really late today. Megan's not feeling very well, so she's a trooper still going to the Renaissance Fair. She wasn't feeling very well at all last night, guys. So we were up late, but she seems to be feeling better now, which is all that's important. So uh, we're heading off to the Renaissance Fair now. We got a couple stops beforehand. We got to go to Walmart and stuff like that. Just grab a couple things. But that's about it. But show you guys what it's all like when we get there. Adeline, show me what you made. A picture of Daddy Doing working out. Splits. Doing a split. Doing a split and he's working out? Yeah. Uh, can you put it on closer, please? There you go. Um, what's that thing in the middle right there? The belly button. Daddy's belly button. He's got to have a belly button, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. What he's do you think, Dad? Shirt <laughs> he's not wearing a shirt in the gym? No. No? Do you go shirtless in the gym a lot? I don't. Yeah? I, well. I don't think I'm allowed to do that, nor would I if I was. <laughs> no, this is a, this is a, a, this is a dad gym, so only dads can be here because they can take your their shirts off. Oh, okay, so it's a dad gym. Okay. So, there you go. So, girls can't be in there. Okay, well that's good. Only boys can be in there. Oh, okay. Little boys and buggy okay. boys. Alright, well okay. thank you. You want to join our crew? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got to start at the bottom. We can work a bop, or we'll put you in, in, in with the put powder in the cannons. We call the powder monkey, and work your way up. Way up to the sky. You only get one. It was bad, I know. So, what we do is we find out when your birthday is, because during your birth there was a specific species of wood that was most virile. Once we know that, we take a coring of that species of wood and we create what is known as the Enfolos of the Wong. Once, we would then give that to you and you would give that a wave over these 12 vessels which would light up with a mystical energy as the spirits within them communicate with one another and decide which one is the most attuned to your person. Once they have decided which one has chosen you, that vessel will remain the last one illuminated. Then we take a small portion of what is inside of these vessels and we fill up what is known as the Alabastron. Of this. We then seal this off with silver and put it inside of the Sister Mystica of the Wong. We then cap that off and then we hand the two plants over to our lovely gentleman who then creates the two into one and then tapers it down to a fine point on one end.
Do you promise to obey your parents? My phone's dead. Do you promise to clean your room? The name of St. John, St. Peter, and St. Michael. I now pronounce you Princess Adeline. Hip hip huzzah! You're a princess! Brown, you pledge to defend the king's lands, protect and serve your royal majesties, and follow the code of chivalry by keeping yourself honorable and studying diligently. Fully stated, Cameron, I now to the name of Saint Jean, Saint Michel, and Saint Brigitte. You may rise. I present you, Sir Cameron, Knight is around. Hip hip! Oh. Oh. On the Game of Thrones chair, the Sword of Thrones, what do you think, buddy? You having fun? Yeah, it's pretty fun. I'm gonna get your head cut off now. We get your head cut off now. Come on. Let's go get our heads cut off. Let's do it. Come on. So we are having an awesome time here. The Renaissance Fair is actually really cool. And like I said, I've never been to one before, but there's a lot of stuff here to see. Uh, it's about three o'clock now, so it's taking us a while to get through here, but so cool. The kids are having a lot of fun. Um, you've seen in the clips before that Cameron and Adeline both got knighted and princessed, or whatever the word is for that. So, princessed, princessed, you got princessed. But yeah, we're having a lot of fun, guys. It's really cool. Really, really cool environment, really cool, cool people, nice people, a lot of cool things to see. Oh yeah, and we're waiting on Megan to get out of there. She's actually in a palm reading thing right now. So, we'll find out what she found out. Find out what she learned about her palm whenever she gets out of there. What did you find out? Um, she said that, that, well, she asked if it, we worked at a desk. I said yes, we both worked at a desk. So there'll be some changes in my job, which I know already. So awesome. and then she said that at the end of two years from now we'll be able to buy a new house. Did you ask her any of that? I asked her about moving. I just said that we want to buy a new house. She said in two years. In two years. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> it was weird, wasn't it? Yeah, very weird. <laughs> All right. well, that's what she figured out. I told you guys we're actually looking into something like that, so who knows? Anyway, I think we're going to get something to eat now because I'm starving. It's a wagon. You have to drive a horse. Cameron, drive a horse, okay? Okay. Cameron's driving the wagon. Oh, <laughs> I'm a princess. He's a knight. Look at that. Isn't that a foot? Is that a foot? Is yeah. That is a big corn dog. Put your hand by it. Just put a band-aid on. Look at that. It's as long as your arm. You put a band-aid on. <laughs> no, it's not. It looks good. Almost. Well, that's hot. From your so fingertips see, to the back of your arm. Do you want to try arm. a french fry? Yeah. No. No? No, this is the, you're counting the stick. No, the whole corn dog. I'm right here, look at that. That's as long as like your forearm. Five, look at that. Where are you going to put that at? No. Almost. Right? Oh, wow. Posture. All right, now if you're going to take pictures, you have to strike a sassy pose. Oh, okay. Come on. All right. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There's one for Facebook. Nice. That makes me look so slim right through here. Yep. So the overbus corsets are for the lookout. Our first CDs are titled Earth. Second CDs are titled Water. Do not play them both at the same time. The sound tends to get a bit muddy. I don't need your pity, people. The band we're going to play is called Corvus Corax. 
Columbus Kodaks and their band has six drummers and four big pipers. Hi. We are going to attempt to do one of their songs. Karen, you should get that. Have to break it in. Be careful. It'll start going out in and out easier. The more and more you pull it in and out of the sheet. Well, it's a festival. Oh, Mommy had it wrong, remember? It was a festival? Yeah. Actually not around. You should have told me that. All right, so we're all finished up now. Luckily, too, because my battery is almost dead. Went through two batteries here. Crazy. Anyway, we're all finished up now. Fixing the head somewhere to get something to eat. We got to walk all the way up this place. Super far up there. We're like way, way up there. Can't even see the car. Here we are. Finally made it. That was a long walk. Now I get something to eat. All right, so we made it to our destination where we're gonna eat at, starving. And Megan wants some soup, so we decided to go here. Yeah, Olive Garden. I think I'm gonna get that chicken pot pie thing that I had last time I came here, which was delicious. We'll see. That's what I'm, I'm getting. You can get your soup. We'll share it. I'll share it with you. It's a lot. I don't know. I can't eat it all myself. I remember I had to take it home last time. So I think that's what we're gonna get. What we got going on. Nothing else going on for tonight until we get home. I'm not sure what we're doing then, but right now we're gonna go in here and enjoy ourselves some dinner. Taking that home with us. So, see you guys. 